What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sean Thomas from the HQ Boys here with the rest of the HQ Boys bringing you coverage about the Nintendo Indie Direct that happened uh, in August 2020. Because you never know. There was a lot of directs. I don't want people to get confused. Yeah, you never know when they're watching this either. Mm. Yeah. This video is brought to you by Espionage VR. If you want to support us and support the show and wear some of the coolest shirts on the net, go to espionagevr.com, put in code HQ15, and uh, you can look as cool as nobody here. Mine was no on the drawing rack. No one's wearing the shirt today. Oops. Um, so, boys, first impressions. What do you guys think about the direct? Today? I thought it ruled. Yeah, yeah there's definitely uh, there's definitely some bangers in there. There's stuff that's already been released, but I would be kind of more excited to play it on the go or yeah. on my couch, which is where a lot of my Switch playing happens right there, now. There was a lot of games that were announced today that I've been interested in, but just straight up, like Hades, for instance, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I want to play that on my Switch. Mm -hmm. Like, that's mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. a Switch game in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially, yeah. I've got... Bastion and Transistor on my Switch when they were True. on sale for three dollars each. Yeah. So this is like kind of completing completing the set. Of yeah. course, of for course. Me. Yeah, this is the super massive yeah. trilogy. Mm. So um first thing announced obviously was Hades. And uh for anybody who doesn't know, Hades is this like kind of roguelike dungeon crawler uh, isometric yeah. dungeon crawler game from Super Giant Games who make Transition and Bastion, Transistor and Bastion. And Severed? No. Didn't they? No, Severed is a Drink box. Drink box. I fucked that up. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but it looks really cool. It came out exclusive to the Epic Store when it launched, and it uh, just looks like a perfect game to play on the Switch. Uh, second game they announced was Hypnospace Outlaw. Do you guys have anything to say about that? No. I'm, I'm interested in it, like, just for the game, because it does kind of have, like, an aesthetic that I that I think would be cool. I don't know if the Switch is where I would want to play it if, yeah. it, if it comes out somewhere else. Yeah, because there's definitely... A it set up in that style of like the internet and whatnot. There's right. a lot of like text. There's a cool think. idea. Yeah, I just think small text in the Switch isn't like yeah. my jam. Yeah. But uh, it does remind me of this game that I was playing last year called Orwell mm -hmm. in the terms of like you just go through this like internet portal as opposed mm -hmm. to having to do any sort of like mm -hmm. physical moving or anything. So I'm definitely interested in that aspect. Did you play that on Switch? No, that was on PC. Oh, okay. okay. To your point about small text, Fire Emblem Three Houses has incredibly small text and it's my biggest gripe about the mm -hmm. game just because like i love that game but you can't fucking read anything yeah unless you're like <coughs> plugged it plugged into the tv um spirit fair that's so the game that looks like, like yeah, spirit fair i'm 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 hype yeah. on yeah it seems really cool it was announced previously and i completely forgot about it and now that it's finally coming out and it's like on my radar again mm. i'm definitely it's it's piqued my interest again and guess what it's coming out today i know hell yeah my favorite my favorite thing about this whole Direct a was that a, a few of the games are coming out today. Yeah. It's and it's actually funny, like thinking about how we've started to do stuff here. Like we hate announcing things although soon too I far guess. in advance. But you know, we, yeah, we just like it you can get it now. Yeah. Because right. and it, like maybe that's like us being millennials and wanting like instant gratification. But I was really happy that Nintendo announced just about everything for today or demo today or yeah. you know, something you could interact Some way to with. Interact. Yeah. yeah, I think the interaction <laughs> is definitely important. Uh Maybe not too healthy for my wallet and my budgeting, but it True. is good to have things that you see and it's like, oh, now I can play this thing and and and, and hit it up today. Um, next game on the list is Garden Story. This did this happen when our stream went down? You guys yeah. saw this? Yeah, you were over. This. You were on the. Okay. It was like right after. It was. Like I right before. I like a lot of these games seem just like chill games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I I I feel like I've been jonesing for a chill game mm -hmm. because I know we're talking about Nintendo. I don't want to like be on the Animal Crossing hate train or anything, but that game, like, I burnt out so fast on it just yeah. because of kind of the loop didn't quite last Not only that, it me. came out right at the beginning of COVID, and right. that's all everyone was doing because right. everyone yeah. was trapped in their homes. Yeah. 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 Like, everyone was just like, I'll just play Animal Crossing all day. Right, which is cool. I would just love, like, a like another chill game, especially on my Switch. Like, I've been thinking a lot about how kind of bummed i've been lately just like feeling like i don't have like a it's not funny but just, you <laughs> said it really fastly i'm thinking a lot about how i'm depressed yeah. so but it, like i know i have a lot of games on the switch i know i have a lot of like reasonably chill games on the switch but i just need something new you know when you just yeah. need something new yeah and there's like there's stuff that's coming out soon i mean this looks like it's 2021 but there are just the game the type of game that i'm looking for mm. They fucking, they showed me what I'm looking for. What yeah. I really want to know about this game is what is the main character? Is it an onion? So he's, like he a, looks like an octopus, but he's definitely got a little leaf coming out of his forehead. Yeah, so, and all the other cute. characters were like vegetables. Yeah. So yeah. I'm assuming he's some sort of like red onion or something yeah. like that. But I don't, 
I don't know if it's like me, but I think I'm kind of, I don't think I'm like really feeling like that, that like, I like like pixel art, but I think like that particular art like wasn't really my vibe. Uh, although some of the loop looks interesting, like the fishing, anything with the fishing aspect, like hell yeah, get me in there. So it might be something I check out if it's a demo, but I don't know if it's a must buy for me. It, mm. it has extreme golf story vibes to me. It mm-hmm. does. And it's got story in the title. So they're really just like marketing to me, I see. which <laughs> I love. I do, I do really like the aesthetic, but I think to Dev's point, I'm trying to be a little bit more deliberate in the games that I play and knowing like, I mean, there have been games that I've been really excited to play mm-hmm. that I don't even play, let alone mm-hmm. games that are like, it's like cute, but there's probably better cute games, mm-hmm. you know, but we'll see. Maybe it'll come out in 2021 and it'll be like, I'll just play it. the only thing to play. That I'll let you know if it yeah. rocks. <clears throat> Next up is Subnautica. Have, now, this is a game that's been out for a long time, obviously. Has anybody played it? So no. I have not played Subnautica, but I have watched much Subnautica content. Mm. Uh, I don't know how to swim. And since I was a kid, water water things in video games, like especially in Half-Life 1 when you had to actually like swim and fight an enemy underwater, has always been like terrifying to yeah. me. Yeah, mm-hmm. horrible. And this particular game is terrifying because you're just mm-hmm. in the open ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's yeah. person. It's I actually, scary. the open ocean, I have like two irrational fears. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where mm-hmm. you're just like, why are you? I'm like terrified of space mm-hmm. and aliens mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like that shit scares the fuck sure. out of me. And mm-hmm. then open ocean mm. like yeah. that oh, yeah. scares the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you're crazy for that. The ocean no. is yeah. spooky. Those are I, evil. I know a lot of people who have played this game and really love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it seems like, from what I watched, it seems like like phenomenal. Yeah. I, I don't know that it's really for me. I already own it for free Same. on the Epic Game Store. Yeah. So it's I, cool that it's coming to Switch for people that yeah. wanted it on the Switch, but too scary. Yeah, I I will. Yeah, That'll it's coming be a out miss with for that me. one and, and the sequel. or the. Is it a chill days? game? It doesn't no, look I chill. Think, I, I think yeah. it can be chill, but okay. but there is also fear, like like legitimate. I mean, you're in the ocean. Yeah, you know? you're in the by yourself. Yeah. So yeah. I don't remember seeing this game. I this don't was either. the one when our when the stream went down. Oh, okay. yeah. So unfortunately, we had some technical issues. Uh, it t- looks good from here. Yeah. Takashi and Hiroshi. It is a but a uh, play is a budding video game developer who is designing games for your younger brother. It launches on Nintendo Switch later today. It was some sort of like side scrolling uh, 3D type of dealio. Okay, that's uh, cool. Maybe I'll do some more research on it. I'm it s- I'm neat. so sad that you missed this. Uh, same. So they announced this game, Raji and Ancient awesome. Epic, and it looks like really cool. It's mm-hmm. like it's concepts that, as far as I know, haven't really been covered in video games, which is like what she was saying. And she said like Hindu like storytelling yeah, and like all and the mythology, art. And, yeah, like yeah. everything. And I, I just wish he had seen it because yeah, he, definitely like a he probably would have been a shit. The gameplay looked like a lot like uh, Prince of Persia, but like with really stylized combat and yeah. like cool abilities. It looked really awesome. Yeah, it reminded me of this uh, this game that came out a little while ago called Titan Souls, which it was mm-hmm. basically like sort of like a it was like Zelda more and simple, Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus, Dark Souls vibe, but like. Yeah, that awesome. view. When yeah, I was, was excited awesome. about getting my Vita, that was the first game that I was like honed in on. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll see if Raja is interested in this. Something that I've been really exposed to lately is how much, uh, like, gaming is is massive in India, but they don't have any content like really tailored to them. Mm-hmm. But this doesn't appear to be like I don't like games that are really big in India are games like PUBG and this mm-hmm. game called a uh, uh, Free Fire, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I don't know if this would do really well there. I think that it's honestly kind of tough. In, India is weird where, like, they want representation of their stuff, but if it's not, like, perfect, then they'll hate it. Mm-hmm. So it will be interesting to see how it does. Mm-hmm. But I think it's really cool that they're covering it. Um, next up, Bear and Breakfast. Ah, uh, yes. Bear and Breakfast was the you play as a bear, but you also have to run – there's a dilapidated bed and breakfast that you have to build up from the ground. In the forest. Yeah. Yeah. The forest. Which is like hilarious and cute, but I don't think I'll be playing it's bear too, and breakfast. It's too much job for me. You know? Yeah, I've been into like job things, but <laughs> I don't Big ring I, Yeah. I don't particularly <laughs> management games are not are not my deal. Yeah. Like, just not my style. Even in uh in Yakuza, there's always these like mini games where you can run a club. Mm-hmm. Where you like manage all these girls, or you're a real estate agent, and I know people that spend like hours and hours just, just doing, doing that. that yeah. And I just br- they're always like built into the game where you have to do like one mission, and then I just like skirt past. Yeah, it but like, if you want some extra money, you can obviously keep doing yeah. it or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, I kind of equate it to like Stardew Valley. Like Stardew Valley looks dope, 
but I watched like two hours of it and I was like, yeah, it's just a lot of like Stardew Valley is a game that I love in in concept, yeah. but don't really love in practice because yeah. it's like a lot of busy work. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, that game is a lot of busy work, but it, that game's so fun. Uh, last game on the list, I mean, they did like a little ending montage, but the last real game they talked about is a game called A Short Hike. Um, which also seems awesome. There's also in, other stuff. In oh, there. Short Hike was the bird. Yeah. Yeah. That so one. you're a bird. You just kind of like coast around doing whatever you want to do. Find little treasures and trinkets on the island. Right. Yeah, and it relaxing. is like, it's just fully like your own journey. Mm. Um, and it just, it, it was on the besties, yeah. which is like the McElroy brothers. And it was one of Justin's picks. And he like couldn't speak highly enough of it. Yeah. And since then, I've wanted to play it, just like haven't gotten around to it. But I always wanted it to be a Switch game. Just it felt like that kind of yeah. It looked really good. <clears throat> Looks and, awesome. So I'm excited for that. And when I said it was the last one, I meant it was the last one on the iMore list before I hit refresh. Oh, yeah. And they updated it. <laughs> and they so, put everything else on here. Card Shark. This is maybe my personal favorite. I think favorite I'm the most excited day. about this game. Card Shark just aesthetically looks phenomenal, conceptually like very original. And as a fan of video game card games, not like not like Hearthstone or anything like that, but yeah. like um just like you know, Rams, uh, yeah. et cetera. Like Gwen, Which Gwen, they made this. triple triad. Yeah. Like this is right on my You gotta tell me more about triple triad, because not to get too derailed, we're obviously playing Final Fantasy 14, yeah. and you can go to the Golden Saucer and play it. Yes, exactly. So I'm interested. Yeah, absolutely. Um here's maybe a weird brain thing I'm having about Card Shark. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I might want to play it on my phone. It will almost definitely come to the phone. I would be so surprised I, if so it I might I might wait. Until it's on the phone. I'm, we'll I'm that way about a lot of card games. Like Slay right. the Spire. I came. waited. Yeah. I didn't play mm. Slay the Spire until it was on the phone. Uh, and okay, I okay. played on my phone a lot, as you guys know. And honestly, some you know, you can get a better deal on the phone generally. Like Slay the Spire yeah. was ten bucks on the phone versus twenty five yeah. on the Switch. Yeah, and yeah. Nintendo definitely definitely throw on that tax all the time on the Switch. Mm-hmm. So yes. I guess I would need to I mean to, to be know, fair, it's twenty five on Steam too. I would need to know like how long around is or whatever in yeah. in this because if it is like really short bursts like i think the phone's perfect because i always have my phone mm-hmm. on me and you know i have my switch on me a lot but just something about being able to like pick it up and put it down that fast without having to go through a whole other device i think would be like perfect for this kind of game uh torchlight 3 is the next one up this game looks awesome and i i have obviously known about torchlight for a while didn't mm-hmm. realize that it was uh this fucking cool yeah yeah, yeah. You know, like a diablo con yeah i've never played big, like I yeah. guess I knew that Torchlight 2 existed, but there's a Torchlight 3. And well, and, and Torchlight 3 has been out. Yeah. So this is just a port, obviously. Um, but I think it's really cool that it's an indie game that, mm. you know, that looks so fleshed out and so mm-hmm. deep that we were yeah. like, this is a fucking Diablo game. Mm-hmm. Can't can't say much more intelligently other than it looks really cool. It looks awesome. Yeah. And if the aesthetic is cool. If, and you're, Diablo. if you're a Torchlight fan, put us onto it in the comments. Mm. Let us know what you think. Uh, Manifold Garden. This game looks like it was designed for Devin. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> I, I like give me like a wild brain puzzle in first person. Yeah. Give me Tal's principle, the witness. Did you love the witness? The witness was dope. Was Portal. Cool. I would I would I would say Tal's principle would probably definitely my number one. Yeah. But Dude, I remember Dev playing so much Talos Principle. And I was playing on Switch as well, like for but months straight. <laughs> if this game two. this game is out today, Dev. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, damn. First yeah, person so. puzzle game. Oh been, depending on the price, I might, I might just, just Dev's snap going home right now. Evergate. Evergate. Now, this is a game that we're obviously really excited about. For anybody who doesn't know, somehow we're all from Massachusetts, and the studio is from Massachusetts, so you know we gotta rep our home. But uh, it actually doesn't excite Nick that much <laughs> because it looks like an amalgamation of every eShop game ever. Yeah, yeah, and then Sean and I were talking about it. It has like that. It was like a kind of like Hollow, the aesthetic like Hollow Knight, Child, Child of Light, kind of like cartoony vibe. Yeah. Cartoon like cel shaded 3D vibe, but with like Celeste with less gameplay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think it looks cool, but I haven't, to be fair, I have not played the games that I assume it is based on. Mm. So maybe I okay, should okay. maybe I should play Celeste and Hollow Knight. Celeste, I was gonna say Celeste is like, I think Celeste is so good. It's 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 one of the only games on Switch that I have beaten. Really? In its entirety. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Celeste is so Yeah, good. I would just I would just rather play and finish Celeste and Hollow Knight because those are two games I started and have not finished yet. Yeah, and like, I, I'm imagining the kid at home who's really excited and just like b- fucking vain bursting his head like it's not fucking Hollow Knight. I know, yeah, <laughs> and and I don't want to like you know discredit, reduce it down, right? To- yeah, and and you know, 
I, I don't I mean to make it sound like there are other the, games in a similar vein that yeah, I'd like this, play for. Yeah, like this this genre that I would play. Yeah, yeah I think like I don't. Yeah, game, and, and at game, least yeah. finish. Like I, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd feel right jumping into this game without having finished those games first. I mean, I would like Hollow Knight is not at all like. I mean, aesthetically sure, but actually playing yeah, the game, this around. one's going to be more like Celeste. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the last big announcement was that Untitled Goose Game is getting a free two-player co-op mode. Oh, yeah. Which is in awesome. That's cool. Um, the game is super fun. I don't know, honestly, that it needs a two-player mode, if I'm being honest. It's just more It'll just be, like, fun, like, if you just want to, like, pick it up again for yeah, some reason I, with I a friend or something. Mm. Yeah. So my copy comes in September, right when the update comes. Nice. Out of boom. Um, they did a, a montage at the end. None of the games really spoke to me except for <clears throat> Grindstone. Grindstone is a game that was um, exclusive to Apple Arcade for like a year, I think, mm-hmm. and it is so much fun. It's like a, it's sort of a, it's like a puzzle game, I guess, with like color matching, and it's just a blast. Uh, Nick got much further than I did in it. You said it gets really hard, right? It does get difficult, which is cool because it's not like, it, at first it can be a little mindless, like you're just like doing the matching and you kind of have to connect the dots to get the biggest combo off. But as the game goes on and you unlock like more abilities and stuff as you can get in a lot of games, you you can big brain it and like really figure out the perfect way to clear a room. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really sweet. And I think like the the arc of the game is cool because you're basically like going up this mountain that you're like kind of like in the story you're like a like a minor kind of thing. Okay, okay. Um, but it's it's cool because there's like all these different places <clears throat> and all the rooms are different. It introduces new enemies that are just these little things on the map. So it's really simple, but it also at the same time, it's like really complex in how you can clear the areas. Now, is yeah. there like, is there a mechanic in a way of like, you have to clear it in this way or like you can clear it in a few different ways, but there's definitely one perfect way to clear it. You basically have to just get through the room and Mm. collect the crown in the room. Okay. There are extra things you can do. So basically the longer you stay in the room, the harder it gets, but the more rewards you get. Got it. Um, But you could leave like pretty soon if you're just like, if you think you're going to die or something, you can like get there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like if you're low on health, you can just fucking zip right Mm. through. Yeah. We've done it. And there's no detriment. Like you can go back to rooms Mm -hmm. and get stuff again. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. It's good. And honestly, to that point, I, I really like when games are just not deliberately punishing, (laughs) you know, like it's like you can go back, clear this room, get the rewards if you want. Mm -hmm. So like Nick and I talked about it. There's all, there is not really other than your own personal pride, a reason to fully clear the room Hmm. the right way. Like, and I had to clear the rooms the right way every time because of my brain. There we go. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) what? I wasn't done. What? I wanted to say, so you said that the, the games at the end didn't really speak to you, but I am like, after seeing those games, just the way that they looked, I think it did a really good job at like, making me interested in them to the point where those last games. Yeah. The wow. last games, like those did not do it for me. There were enough that like they could do another indie direct on them. Like it almost was like those games, they didn't have enough info yet, or they're not coming out soon enough to spend a lot of time on them, yeah, but yeah. they wanted like this little like tail piece of just like, Hey, and like, there's going to be more in the future. If you like, didn't think this was enough. So I'm honestly now looking forward to another like indie 20 direct minute on those, last, on like, those five or six in games. the same that they did like in depth on these ones, in depth on these ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would yeah. actually be like, honestly, I could, I just think that would be cool. That's, that's kind of like cool, how it went for me. I think it'd be like a cool series is just like they do their indies and then they're like, they, they throw these five or six games at the end. And then when they can flush those out, throw up another one. It's only yeah. 20 minutes long. But it's I, like the Marvel pro- post credit scene. But if you if you look at all those games, I the only one, Grindstone is really the biggest one out, out of all of them versus the ones that they announced today, like Torchlight is huge. You know, fuck, yeah. this game, uh, Card Shark is made by the people who made Reigns. Yeah. Like there were, in there, Subnautica, there were like big, big, oh, sure, like big, big ones. indies. Those ones, whenever they do shit like that, by the way, they almost never revisit them. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and they're kind of like, to me, they feel like throwaways, which yeah. is why they jam them in a 15 second segment yeah. at the end. I think it's know? also I like, bad for those games. but I think like, right. I think if the red onion one or bear and breakfast was in that last 15 seconds, I wouldn't have thought about them either. You know, that's yeah. fair. But, but you're also not excited about either of those games. No doubt. But so, I'm saying, but I think there, there is I mean, someone there were, that is. And like, if they could like, some, there were definitely out. huge games that, in the first part, which is why they got the first part. But, I'm I'm still interested in, in seeing yeah, those more would about be these like, games. Those would be like the bear and breakfast of the next indie world or something. I guess that's true. The one that Haven looked interesting. Yeah, but, I thought Haven looked really pretty. But the other ones are kind of take it or leave it. Yeah. 
Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for coming to this episode of the HQ Boys React. If you want to support us, you want to support the show, go to espionagevr.com, put in code HQ15, and um, this video uh, comes out today. So we are teasing a really big announcement tomorrow on August 19th. So if you somehow stumble across this video, make sure you come back to the channel tomorrow at noon if we publish the video at the right time. <laughs> for, uh, more Fingers coverage, crossed. For more coverage like this, you can go to youtube.com slash boys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.